वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन सिंगिंग भजन्स इन द इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक ट्रेडिशन दिस डोमेन ऑफ द भजन एस्पेशली इन द नॉर्थ इंडियन ट्रेडिशन इज वेरी वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट दो इट डजेंट फॉल स्ट्रिक्टली इन द गैमट ऑफ द खयाल और द द्रुपद ट्रेडिशन विच इज द प्राइमरी क्लासिकल इडियम भजन्स इन्फ्यूज्ड विद द रिगर एंड मास्टरी ऑफ क्लासिकल सिंगिंग हैज अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट प्लेस इन परफॉर्मेंस फ्रॉम द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ स्टॉलवर्ड्स ऑफ अर्लियर इयर्स टू रिसेंट स्टॉलवर्ड्स लाइक पंडित भीमसेन जोशी पंडित कुमार गंधर्वा जितेंद्र अभिषेकी किशोरी आमोंकर दे हैव गिवन अ प्राइड ऑफ प्लेस टू दिस दिस कॉम्पोजिशनल जॉनर विच वी जनरली टर्म एज भजन भजन इट सेल्फ इज नॉट अ सफिशेंट वर्ड टू कैप्चर द रेंज ऑफ कॉम्पोजिशन विच कम विद इन इट्स डोमेन आई से दिस बिकॉज मीरा कबीर पुरंदरदासा सूरदास compositions from ramcharit manas and so on and so forth guru nanak each of them have a very very different approach in terms of the textual content in terms of the language in terms of how it is sung but yet as a convenient category we tend to call them all as bhajans even abhangs come under this category abhangs are the compositions of uh, the marathi bhakti saints Tukaram, Nyaneshwar, Namdeo, and later on, uh, great uh, devotional saints of of Maharashtra. But yet the approach, the song form, Elame, it's all different in each of them. But what is very very significant and common is uh, <clears throat> the interpretation of the lyric and how the essential. nature of bringing out the feeling the spiritual uh, impetus of the composer is sought to be achieved the dhwani of the words the understanding of the word uh, the projection of the word the um, the intent of the performer to go into that mold and sing with the bhava in generally a khayal or even in carnatic music composition like a kriti there is a predominance for the sangeeta um and less for the geeta i'm just making a very broad generalization here but generally speaking um uh, the the role of the raga is more essential in a kriti the role of a raga is more essential in a khayal the words are just the um vehicle through which the raga is realized in a bhajan to a great extent it is probably the other way around the raga is chosen that raga is chosen which best captures or is suited to the dhwani of the words we do not know in what raga is uh, tukaram or uh, purandradasa or uh, meera sang these uh, bhajans of their own there is no Uh, way that we can ever know that so in the 20th century at least there is a tradition of setting these uh, beautiful poetry bhakti poetry into musical form so when we sing bhajan we have to always understand that it is a musical interpretation of devotional poetry so that <clears throat> an abhang can be sung in various tunes various met there is nothing sacrosanct about one particular way of singing it uh, but the essential uh, idea is that you try to capture the spiritual fervor and are you you are able to pass it on to the listener so to that extent you you might find a, the same bhajan being sung in very very different moods in terms of gati in terms of the kala so, uh, the same composition can be sung in a very very vilamba kala in a totally different raga that particular uh, poetry that po- particular poem devotional poem can be sung in a totally different raga in a totally different uh, uh, interpretation 
so here the playing field is one of interpreting the the, the poetry so other base panita we have to prepare to present or learn uh, a bhajan unfortunately in the carnatic music tradition bhajans have been adopted but they have uh, you know the the idea of it being part of a tukda repertoire has given it a slightly um, you know you don't pay much attention to it whereas i nowadays find that to sing a bhajan well requires much much more focus and work even in terms of your uh, singing skill because a kind of perfection that you have to achieve in order to communicate a musical line uh poignantly very very effectively uh is where the challenge lies so to that extent <clears throat> even the very very great artists uh, like like i mentioned whether it be uh, ms subalakshmi or whether it be bhimsen joshi you will find that and they have mentioned it in some of their interviews that uh, after certain stage of khayal singing of manodharma they find uh, coming back to the simple elegant lines that a bhajan requires very very challenging musically so um, like i mentioned the aspects of understanding the lyric the aspect of delivering that lyric in a very beautiful and effective manner the idea of making it very very classical in the sense the mastery of classical music has to be there because bhajans are sung in many many forms they are sung in sampradaya bhajana they are sung at homes in a very casual way during puja and all that but but yet on stage when it is presented in a classical music stage the kind of classical rigor has to be there the kind of perfection that is the, that has to be sought to be mastered so uh we shall now go into three or four examples uh, beautiful uh, poetry of mirabai and uh, other uh, poet saints and uh, we shall uh, see how we can learn to render these so called and seemingly simple songs with uh, much more uh, effectiveness